Hey, it's your girl Buggy, and I'm back with another tutorial. I'm just going to show you how I do my everyday face. Since it's getting hotter outside, I'm kind of trying to steer away from liquid foundation and using more powder and uh, BB creams and, as usual, PF30, I think it is, PF, SPF, PF, just making up things, <laughs> SPF35, and just really trying to protect my skin from the sun and trying to keep that oilness and sweat at bay. Just had a shower and I use my Pond's wipe to wipe off all the excess. Going in with my uh, clarifying lotion from Clinique and this is in the level 3. This is combination to oily skin so this works actually pretty well and I'm just doing this because I want to get all the oil off of my face and the excess dirt that the shower or the Pond's might have missed. Goodness look at all that. That's from showering and using a pond, pond wipe and washing my face so your face is never fully clean so that's why I didn't want to skip this step it's a French company and it's water based and I'm just going to be putting concentrating this on the outs skirts of my face and it has a really like earthy smell to it and it doesn't really feel like it doesn't give that heaviness of of lotion that you're putting on lotion it feels good anyways the Ostrata mattifying fluid dot this on where I get the most oil I'm just gonna rub that in. Coming in with my Master Matte Mattifying Base. And I'm putting this all over my face. All over your face, kid. Mmm, and this has like a rose smell to it, like rose petals. Mm, it smells really good and it feels really nice like you know how you get those mattifying ones that sometimes feel like you're just like it gives flakes somehow like I don't know if that makes sense but this one is like it goes on smooth it mattifies my face it's going in with my Smashbox camera ready BB cream and this has a SPF 35 and just gonna pop this on the back of my hand. Not that much. And I usually do my face first, unless I'm going to be doing something with like glitter or pigments on my eyes, because I hate when you have like a perfect face and then you get fallout and you're like trying to get rid of it and just like. The worst thing. Stipple this around the skin so that it's evenly placed everywhere and and then I'm going to rub it in afterwards in a circular motion. I'm just going to buff this in. And now, this BB cream is a couple shades darker <laughs> than my natural skin, but the only reason why I use foundation or powder is because I want to make sure that my skin is all one color. Now, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting Oil Free and uh, temperature control and this is by uh, Scandinavia originally by Scandinavia that's pretty good so I'm just doing this because I don't want my makeup to move because BB cream isn't one of those like those um, things that stay on your face through sweat and through um, oil and all that this is just 
insurance. So I'm sealing this off. And I'm just going to close my eyes and do an X motion. And then a T motion. And then I'm going to let this dry. So it's dry to my, to my satisfaction. I'm going in with my MAC blotting powder and it's in the color dark. Power glass two brush. And I'm just going to go in circular motion. This is also going to tone down the color and make it more my skin tone. Just going in circular motions. Working from the middle of my face, going outwards. As you can see, it's really mattifying. Well, hopefully you can see. It's really mattifying my ice face. It's really toned down the oiliness or the oily looking part of my face, which I'm pretty happy with. So that's that. Next, I'm going to go in with my Smashbox. This is high definition concealer and this is in the color medium dark. Got this underneath my eyes. And I'm going in with my MAC 190. Oh, my cats are scrapping. And I'm just lightly pulling this down towards my cheeks. Such a long process. <laughs> I'm going in with my Makeup Forever. My Dual Matte. This is powder foundation. And I'm just going to dab it like so. Fluff the access. And I'm just putting this here so that it sets my foundation and help my foundation my concealer and helps it last longer and not to move i'm just gonna bring some natural warmth back to my cheeks and i'm just going in with a darker color I give that little duck lip face just to see where my apples of the cheeks are and i'm just gonna rose that bugger up Move backwards and move it up towards the hairline. I'm just gonna put that on my brush, tap off the excess, suck in, find the holes of my cheek. It's usually where uh, the the curve of your ear goes, see how it goes like this? It's just like right there, straight across. I'm moving it up in my hairline so it doesn't look like it just came out of nowhere. Well, this isn't blush, this is actually Max Plum Dressed. And I love this, I love this color so much. Like, so amazing. Tip of my brush, all right, get that access off. And I'm going to see, this is where the apples of my cheeks are, but I don't want to put them on the apples. I'm just going to put them just above, like right here. More of a vamp look. I want it all to mesh well. I don't want it to look like all of a sudden it's dark here and then all of a sudden it's, you know, whatever brush, blush you have on and then all of a sudden it's highlight. I want it to mesh well together. It's doing this so that it all meshes well together. So I'm just... Dance up. So I hope you enjoyed how I do my face every day. Uh, you know, as always, haters welcome here because I know I'm going to be able to rock this smile off my ace face. Have a great day, guys.